Bipolar disorder is a mood disorder that is characterized by alternating periods of depressive symptoms and elevated mood, termed either hypomania or mania. Most people experience normal ups and downs, but in bipolar disorder, the range of moods is greater than normal and features extremes. We'll come back to this graph, but first we need to define depressive and manic symptoms. According to the DSM-5, depressive symptoms include a low mood, anhedonia, meaning a loss of interest in previously enjoyed activities, diet or sleep disturbances, experiencing low energy levels that may even make getting out of bed too much, psychomotor retardation, feeling worthless and inappropriately guilty, and losing the ability to concentrate. In severe cases, there can also be thoughts of death and suicide. Then there are symptoms of mania or hypomania. These are features of an abnormally elevated mood. Mania is more severe and impairs day-to-day -day functioning and may include psychosis, leading to a misdiagnosis of schizophrenia. The DSM-5 lists the criteria for mania as at least three of diminished need for sleep, a sense of grandiosity, meaning being superior or better than others, pressured speech, racing thoughts or ideas, distractibility, increased level of goal-focused activities, and excessive risky pleasurable activities like spending sprees, sex, or gambling. For mania, this must last at least seven days and be enough to impair normal functioning or pose a threat to others. Hypomanic episodes are similar, but need only four days and are observable to others, but do not cause impairment in functioning. Based on these, there are three main types of bipolar disorder. Bipolar 1, which can be diagnosed with a single episode of mania because it is given that a depressive episode will eventually occur. Bipolar 2, where there is at least a single depressive episode and one hypomanic episode. Then we have cyclothymic disorder, sometimes considered as mild bipolar disorder, where there are depressive and hypomania-like episodes that do not quite meet the criteria for major depressive episodes or hypomanic episodes. Some people will fluctuate quickly between the two extremes, with four or more episodes of either mania or depression in one year defined as rapid alternating, while some can experience both depressive and manic symptoms at the same time. Bipolar disorder has a lifetime prevalence of around 1-3%, to with males and females being affected approximately equally. It most commonly starts in late adolescence or early adulthood. The exact cause of bipolar disorder is not known, but it is thought that there are multiple factors. Genetically, there is a link between a family history and an increased risk of bipolar disorder, with studies quoting up to a 10x risk if a first degree family member is affected. If one parent is affected, the likelihood of developing the disorder is 15 to 30%. However, if both parents are affected, this rises to between 50 and 75%. But this doesn't mean a family history guarantees development of bipolar disorder. There are environmental factors, such as significant stress, like death or illness, as well as other stress factors, like relationship or financial stresses. The treatment primarily involves management of the acute phase and stabilization over the long term, as there is an increased risk of suicide in bipolar patients. Psychotherapy, including cognitive behavioral therapy, which is useful in preventing long-term relapse, is effective on depressive symptoms, and interpersonal therapy is another option. However, they have not been shown to be as effective when treating manic episodes. Psychoeducation also helps with relapses and involves learning about mental health and well-being. Medication is frequently used, 
including multiple different classes. Mood stabilizers like lithium, with it being shown to be particularly effective in acute manic episodes and also helping to prevent relapses and bipolar depression. However, it does require monitoring as it can have side effects involving the kidney and the thyroid. Other options include carbamazepine, lamotrigine and valproic acid, which are anti-epileptic medications. Antipsychotics are used more commonly in the manic episodes, such as haloperidol and olanzapine, and it has been found that a combination of mood stabilizers and antipsychotics are more effective than using either class alone. Antidepressants are another class, but they are not typically used alone as they can trigger manic episodes or acceleration of cycles, but they may be used alongside mood stabilizers in some cases. Olanzapine and fluoxetine is a combination therapy approved for treating bipolar depression. Other treatments include electroconvulsive therapy, where convulsions are induced by electric currents, but this is only really used in resistant cases or cases that are extremely severe. Similar to electroconvulsive therapy, there is transcranial magnetic stimulation that uses magnetic waves instead and is less powerful than ECT and can be done without general anesthesia. 